Well, but today, Major Chris Branningham competes a 700-mile walk, and he's done it without any shoes or socks on. Yeah, it's worth taking a moment to just understand what he's done. He set off barefoot from Land's End 38 days ago to raise money for his eight-year-old daughter, who has a rare illness. We'll speak to him in just a moment. Let's take a look back at the epic journey so far. So here I am in Land's End in the southwest of England, about to take my very first steps on a 700 mile barefoot march. Challenging, so painful. Oh. Well, what a journey um, it has been. Chris joins us now from the town of Lauda um, in just south of Edinburgh. A morning to you. And um, first of all, I suppose, um, how are your feet? Uh, they're not great, to be honest. Uh, I've been walking for 34 days now. I've had infections in both my feet. Uh, they're pretty battered and bruised and cut them, unfortunately, but the end's in sight now. Well, that's good news, Chris. I don't know if you have any control over your camera there. I knew you could do this, Charlie. I'm not sure whether it's suitable for breakfast viewers, what we're going to see, but can you cast the camera downward so we can see the feet? Are we able to do that? Yeah, the tops of my feet don't look too bad. It's the undersides that aren't too great. Uh, okay. I hope you can see there. They're pretty battered, and I've heard this morning that because of the floods in Scotland, some of the roads been washed away for our route today, so it's going to be pretty challenging. Do you know, the thing is, Chris, even seeing you standing there on that kind of tarmac surface you're on there, I'm, I'm starting to think, ouch. But you have been through some ordeals along the way, including visits to A&E. Yeah, I've, I've had to go to A&E twice, once because I've had open wounds and infections on both feet, and then again just last night here in the Scottish Borders because I've had a back problem. The whole, the whole journey's been really punishing on my body. You've done absolutely brilliantly. Just remind people who don't know why you decided to do this. So I'm doing this 700-mile barefoot march for my little girl, Hasty, because she has a rare genetic condition, and we're funding the first-ever gene therapy to treat her and other kids with CDLS. OK, well, I don't want to... Um, well, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to introduce some special guests. Um, hopefully that you'll be able to um, hear them, Chris. Amir, Navid and Hasti join us now. Morning to you all. Um, have you got a message for your dad? Who wants, who wants to speak first? Hasti, do you want to go first or who wants to give the message to your dad? We're really proud of him. What he's doing is amazing, and I can't wait to see him in Edinburgh. <laughs> Hasty, have you got anything you'd like to say to Dad this morning? I think you're going to see him a bit later, aren't you? But what about on his last day? What What have you got to say to Dad? Um... Anything you like. What, what? How would you? Is Dad's giving you a big wave right now, <laughs> Hasty? Okay. Would you like to give him a big wave back? There you go. Well, you, Chris, you have three very proud children there, and I know that's what it's all about for you. Can I just ask you, along the way, I dare say you've had some quite extraordinary support from people, maybe from the most surprising places uh, as you've gone down the route. What are the moments that stand out for you? Um, I've had incredible support from all over the country. I've walked through 19 counties now, and everywhere I've been, from the start to the end, the kindness we've received from total strangers, whether it's donations or food or water or just someone to give me a hug at the side of the road, it's just been amazing. Um, and honestly, um, you know, the, the, thing, the, the thing about this is just it's the relentlessness as well, presumably, for you, Chris, isn't it? Every morning having to get up, put those delicate feet on the tarmac again. 
Yeah, exactly. And every every morning my feet are swollen up and are a bit more damaged than the day before. But the truth is that children with rare diseases in the UK don't get the kind of treatment that they really need. And one in three of them don't live to see their fifth birthday. And um, we're fighting so that kids that have CDLS can get a treatment so they can live a long and happy life. We just want Hasty to be able to reach her dreams. Now, Chris, your lovely children, clearly, and I completely understandably, they don't want to talk to us, but maybe they'll talk to you. So have you got anything you'd like to say to the kids this morning? I love you guys, and I haven't seen you in such a long time. It's been 35 days on this journey, and I can't wait to see you this afternoon in Edinburgh City Centre. I love you. Um, I, you maybe you don't want to tell us, guys, but Amir, what plans have you got when you first see your dad? Um, we'll bring him some shoes so he can finally wear them. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great idea. And how big, I ask this of all three of you, how big is the hug going to be when you get to see dad? How big will that hug be? Really big. That big. That's a proper hug. Well, look, uh, you're the, you're the, that basically, that's your support team from a distance, isn't it, Chris? Exactly, yeah, and that is my only support team. I think some people think I've got a car or, you know, some kind of support crew behind me. I don't. It's really just me, my phone, and all my stuff on my day sack. So it's been really difficult, but I can't wait to see the family at the end of the day. Um, so to keep you going today, on your last day, if people spot you, what would you want them to do? Wave? I don't know, give you a foot massage? <laughs> I don't think anybody's going to want to touch my feet this, this day. But if people could just give me a beep, a wave, and if they want to stop and put a donation in my bucket, you know, it all goes to Hope for Hasty and to create a gene therapy which will change the lives of these kids and Hasty forever. Aww. Well, maybe, kids, you give us a big wave and uh, give your dad a, a send-off, a little wave send-off, because he's just about to set off. <laughs> Very good. Thank you, guys. Lovely to see you all this morning. And, Chris, good luck on the last bit of your journey. I'm so pleased to see you've got some of those blue skies for that last bit yeah. of the journey, notwithstanding the problems we were talking about a moment ago. Good luck. Thank you so much. And I know he's raised a huge amount of money as well. Um, 8.38. We're due to hear more this morning about the economic fallout from the coronavirus pandemic. and it's